Hey guys, my name is Jen, aka Green and Sheen, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about Hoyas. I want to show you guys my Hoyas, what's in my collection and stuff. I've gotten a few requests about like people asking me to make a dedicated Hoya video or even like a Hoya collection and things like that. I think that in this video, I won't be going too in depth about care. Um, maybe I'll point something out if I'm having a struggle, like if I'm struggling with one of my Hoyas, I'll kind of point out what I've noticed and things like that. But I don't think that I'll be stopping and like explaining each care. General care highlight. They love a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of light. And actually, I would say that's my greatest tip as like getting them to flower. They love light. They can take so much water. They are thirsty. I don't know why people, some people will say they're more like succulents and like just drought tolerant some yes but generally hoyas are very thirsty or at least in my experience and as far as fertil fertilizing goes i've been feeding mine with the the russo plant care um nutrient trio i believe it's like the aeroid food the healthy leaf and healthy root and I know that they're more marketed towards aeroids, but I've been giving that to basically all my plants and they all seem to love it. And I believe Tyler also uses it on his Hoyas, but I could be wrong. But anyway, needless to say, they love it. So that's the general care. Soil mix, very chunky, very airy. They're epiphytes, so I do have some that are like straight up in cocoa husks or like cocoa chips or whatever and they freaking love it so <laughs> yeah but like i said if i notice anything like different beyond that general care then i'll point it out to you guys but i let's get right into it i do also want to say that for my anthurium girlies don't worry i am gonna be making an anthurium collection video as well but i just figured let's knock out the hoyas i don't have nearly as many Hoy hoyas as i do anthuriums i have so many anthuriums especially seedlings so for the anthurium video that'll just be broken up into two parts um but for now you know, let's do the Hoyas first. This is for my Hoya heads, my Hoya lovers. <laughs> okay, so the first Hoya, we are starting off big and strong. And the first one I want to show you guys is my Hoya Obovada. She is truly a beast. I have had this Hoya for quite a while. And she has just been such a dream. She is so easy to grow. Literally does not ask for anything. And then just grows these beautiful dark leaves. Let me see if I can zoom y'all in. She's in a huge terracotta pot. So you guys really won't be able to see me. But I mean this Hoya isn't about. I mean this video isn't about me. It's about the Hoyas. So I want y'all to get the best look. <laughs> at them but very splashy leaves she also has a bloom look at that hopefully it's focusing on that super pretty they're so pink they're literally everything this is probably like my second favorite bloom from hoyas my first is like the hoya caudata sumatra but the Hoya Obovada, bloom, Obovada blooms definitely come at a close second. It has another one forming right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. This freaking plant is heavy. She's heavy. But yeah, first one, Hoya Obovada. I freaking love her so much. And I just took cuttings from her today too to give to my sister and yeah, I'm trying to get her into Hoyas and hopefully she'll love this one. I know that I do and I think it's just such a beautiful Hoya. It's like so easy to love. But yeah, Hoya Bovada, that's the first one. <laughs> and for my second Hoya, I have my Hoya Matilde 
who is also in bloom my hoyas have definitely been popping off and just blooming constantly they're blooming so much this summer and i hope that you guys can see hold on okay so i wanted to zoom y'all in so y'all could see just how fuzzy they are the first time this plant bloomed for me the blooms smelled absolutely horrible but this second time around they actually smell not so bad <laughs> they just have like this old lady perfume kind of smell or at least to me um but yeah this is her i'll try to insert a picture of what she looked like when i first got her my sister actually got me this plant as a birthday gift i think like two years ago um and i just gave it a drink so yeah it was kind of thirsty but it just has some of the prettiest like leaves some are splashy some are just more like green and uh just so pretty it's such another really easy hoya i highly recommend i can't imagine anybody like collecting hoyas and not having this one so <laughs> yeah number two matilde so i'm kind of just like starting off with the ones that are in my living room that are like hanging so i it's i know it's a lot of like hanging hoyas i don't i do have other ones that aren't trailing but i wanted to get these out of the way the third one is my hoya species affinity bretonii aka my tim burton plant if you've been following me a long time then you know that you know the Bretonii or burton a just reminds me of tim burton so i call this plant my tim burton plant and i love it so much this was like the first hoya i ever came across in person i live in a smallish town and plants just aren't really popping off here like they are like everywhere else so coming across i mean we do now come across like pretty common hoyas but like back then when i first started collecting plants like this was considered rare in my area and whenever i saw it in houston i completely freaked out let me zoom in the leaves are like kind of fuzzy too they're really soft uh, definitely one of my favorite hoyas let me show you guys this like fresh strand here i love when they get kind of sun stressed they get like a dark margin but so cute hopefully you can see the fur but yeah like i said definitely freaked out when i saw it in person basically like my first rare hoya at the time and uh she's been a favorite ever since okay so the oh lord i'm not even going to try to keep up with numbers because i'm going to forget but the next hoya is another trailing one and it is my hoya sunrise she is so sun stressed and just freaking beautiful she is like constantly blooming for me she has like one two three <laughs> for so many she has so many peduncles she is constantly blooming and to be honest it's kind of annoying like i'm not trying to sound ungrateful <laughs> i do love the blooms and they're they smell amazing probably one of my favorite bloom scents ever but like cleaning up the blooms constantly can be really annoying like thankfully they kind of last long definitely not like the la the longest lasting blooms in my collection but uh i don't know <laughs> like i i love the blooms i have like a love-hate relationship with the blooms just because she's constantly blooming i have another hoya where i feel the same way about it where i just feel like it's like always blooming and i'm kind of just like please stop but I mean it just means the plant is happy so I can't complain <laughs> I also recently took cuttings of this one she was much longer than like this but I gave her a little bit of a haircut because she definitely needed it but yeah Hoya Sunrise okay next up we have a trellised Hoya and that is my Hoya New Guinea Ghost ah <laughs> 
she is just so pretty and like i recently i've been taking a lot of cuttings y'all especially from my hoyas just because like i said i want to give some to my sister and kind of get her collection started and like just have her fall in love um but i took cuttings for her and a friend and yeah but she literally was like up to here wrapped around here but then i gave her the haircut but which it's fine though because she has so many growth points down here in the center like in the pot behind all these leaves i would not be able to show y'all like each one but there are so many like that's why she looks so bushy down here and i am just i love the minty leaves the way that they look i really want to get this hoya sun stressing but it's kind of hard i feel like with this hoya it might have to like genuinely be stressed out in order to sun stress please focus because i remember i remember either charmaine or alice saying that you don't even grow here and on plant parenthood but yeah so i do give this one highlight but it's just not sun stressing but that's totally okay like the foliage is freaking beautiful i've not i haven't even had this hoya for a year i haven't had it for a year yet and it's already grown this much it's such a fast grower but yeah hoya new guinea ghost <laughs> i love her my next Hoya is my Hoya Polyneura and if you saw my plant chores video then you know that I chopped up this plant completely. Um, I didn't really want to bring the cuttings over here. I have to pot them up though. Hopefully I can do that maybe in a future plant chores video. But anyway, this is what it looks like and what all the other cuttings looks like. Please focus. My camera is like... There we go. But yeah, I love this one. I, I do. I love it a lot. But this one I do kind of struggle with. I feel like it's a very thirsty Hoya. And I'm kind of a underwater. I am an underwater, not kind of. Um, so yeah, I find myself kind of struggling with this plant. But I mean, if you just keep up with her watering, she's generally a pretty easy Hoya. This one I do notice does not like high light. It will bleach. It will burn. So yeah, definitely give it like medium to low light and it'll thrive and give you these dark fishtail leaves. Oh, I'm dropping pond. Oh, which by the way, I have her in because that's the only way I can grow it. But I am going to be putting the cuttings in dirt and seeing how that goes. <laughs> But Hoya Polynera. Whew, I can tell this is going to be a long video. <laughs> anyway, the next Hoya is my Hoya Compacta Variegata. And yeah, she's such a cutie. And honestly, has been um, really easy to grow. <laughs> um, I know that some people kind of struggle with it or say that it grows really slow for them or not at all. And I mean, she's not the fastest in the bunch you know i'm not gonna sit here and say that she grows really fast but she does grow steadily like i can expect a new set of leaves at least once a month or every other month um so at least that's something definitely not the fastest but she recently put out like another growth point in here i don't know if you guys probably won't be able to see but this leaf here and this one here were like brand new and yeah i do plan on chopping her and actually potting her up with my green form um so that they'll just be together no need to have like two hindu ropes you know but yeah hoya compacta variegata <laughs> So this next Hoya lives in my Ikea cabinet and it is my Hoya Hushkaliana Variegata. Such a cutie. I love the variegation on this one. This is another one that I would really love to sun stress but it hasn't been the easiest to sun stress. Like the leaves will come in super pink but then they like fade to this white or this cream white. And I mean, that's really pretty. 
<laughs> but I am such a sucker for sun-stressed Hoyas and if I see that they can sun-stress beautifully then like that's always the goal for me um but yeah she's a cutie not the fastest grower um, and that could just be because most of the leaf is white and very little green so that could be why it's like not doesn't have a lot of chlorophyll in the leaves but still cute and I'm glad I have her <laughs> but yeah Hoya Hushkaliana Varigata okay so this next Hoya I recently got um, and I don't it's not like rooted yet so I kind of have it in this container but I mean you guys can still be able, you guys will still be able to see and it's the Hoya GPS 7240 let me give y'all a closer look such a cutie I know that these leaves are a little wonky um, but the lady that I got this from she's local and she literally was like do you want like some splashy leaves and I was like yes and like she gave me these which are have a pretty decent splash and then she just like took out this other one and uprooted it from the plant it was like a whole other vine but yeah such a cutie i cannot wait for this to just get rooted and so that i'm able to pot it up and really grow this one i am super excited but yeah it's hoya gps 7240 <laughs> the next hoya is another hoya that i recently got from the same lady locally and it is a Hoya Ritzii Borneo. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Is it not so pretty? Say it's pretty. <laughs> it is like stunning. I'm obsessed with this leaf, of course. Like how can I not be? It's so splashy and I love that it's like a half splashy type thing like Oh, just so pretty and it's actually growing a new leaf right now Do y'all see that there? Super excited about that one. Here's a closer look at the leaves and Yeah, this one has been on my wish list for a very long time and When I saw that she had it I was like How much are you selling that for because I want to take it home with me? But yeah, <laughs> super excited to grow this one and have it in my collection. Right now it's in moss, which is what she had it in, but I will be repotting it soon. I've just been letting it acclimate and stuff and kind of just letting this new leaf come in grow. But yeah, I can't wait to pot her up and like for her to just start growing more and putting it on a trellis. <sighs> I can't wait. <laughs> The next Hoya is another one I got recently, so I won't go too in depth about it because I already kind of gushed over it in the previous video, and that is my Hoya Thompsonii, which is doing really well and actually starting to root. Oh my gosh, yes. Let me see if I can show you guys. But I actually ended up cutting up this plant there's a root right there it's like kind of behind the letters here but it's that white root right there anyway I ended up cutting it up because it was like she gave me multiple nodes and I put them all in moss and it's living in my IKEA greenhouse and it's doing really good so yeah just a small update on this plant I guess I love it already it's like so freaking adorable but yeah, <laughs> Hoya Thompsonii. Okay, I believe that is all the plants that live in my living room, which aren't that many. Most of my Hoyas live here in my room, so I'm gonna start showing you guys who live in our room. And yeah, starting off with my Hoya Serpens, my pride and joy, more like. <laughs> I love this plant so much all of this it took tender love and care <laughs> and I'm just so proud of this plant especially because you know things weren't always easy in the beginning and then like just looking at how she is now uh, 
definitely a proud plant parent moment for me i love her so much and she has so many peduncles but this hoya is really hard to like get to bloom i'm not gonna lie if you have any tips on getting the hoya serpents to bloom please let me know i'm starting to wonder if it's like a temperature thing if they like like a drop in temperature or if they want it to be even warmer or what i don't know it's very well rooted it's a pretty mature plant i'd say let me show you all the roots but for some reason she just does not want to bloom she does not want to which like okay whatever fine <laughs> but yeah if i could get this one to bloom that would just be the cherry on top you know but yeah my hoya serpents i love her so much all right so the next hoya is my hoya wayeriai variegata and she is such a cutie i just watered her so she's kind of like dripping a little bit but i'm pretty sure this hoya needs a repot because she dries out on me so fast she recently bloomed for me if you saw my planty updates video i'll link it up here or up here i don't know which side it's gonna be on <laughs> but um i showed the blooms in that video and they were so like purpley like a grape purple um like the red grapes and just so like fuzzy too they were so cute but yeah like i said this hoya dries out really fast um pretty sure it needs a repot but i love her she's such a cutie and i love the way that she suns dresses and the next hoya is my hoya curtiziae or curtiziae however you want to say it oh my goodness this one <laughs> <laughs> this one is really long and I have had her for quite some time now this was another plant I got locally and at the time they like Costa Farms still wasn't like selling this one I believe it's Costa Farms I'm not sure but before they showed up in Lowe's and like big box stores um, this one was kind of hard to find and someone locally had posted that you know they had a few pots with like cuttings in them that were rooted and just selling them for a what did we buy it for because i bought it with my best friend and we both paid like 10 or 15 dollars um but and it's still in the same pot that i got it in i don't even want to oh they're not that bad okay i thought it would be more rooted than that but this plant really has been in this <laughs> in the same pot for a really long time she's really long this is one of the hoyas that i really want to get to bloom the blooms look so cool i think that to me they look like teeth um i'll try to i'll insert a picture here i'll try to um but yeah i think that the blooms look really cool and hopefully one day i can get this one to bloom but if you're struggling with this one i advise ignoring it like if you're like a helicopter parent and you're just like worried and worried and stressing about this one i find that it's just best to just forget it and then like of course obviously don't neglect it Ugh. i know that sounds so contradicting but like these really are drought tolerant and they really don't like to be watered very often in my experience they really do like to dry in between watering so if you're experiencing like yellow and leaf drop i feel like normally it's an overwatering issue but i could be wrong everyone's environment is different um but i just thought it was something to note you know but yeah hoya curtisii so the next plant is a plant that i've had in my collection for a very long time it holds a very special place in my heart because when i first got it i love getting plants really small um if you know me personally then you, you would know that but i love getting them small i love growing seedlings and i love watching plants grow and just like become something so big and looking back to when i got it like oh uh, that just like does something to my heart and soul something good <laughs> but this plant is that i'm talking about is my hoya linearis and 
Ugh, I love this plant so much. If you have this plant, then of course, like, you love it as well. It's just such a lovable plant. This plant reminds me of, like, a willow tree. And, <laughs> like, I love willow trees so much, me and my sister. And I'll never forget the first thing she told me when I sent her a picture. I'll insert a picture of, like, what it looked like when I first got it. And she was like, girl, that looks like grass in a cup. And like, to be honest, she wasn't lying. It really did. Um, <laughs> but look at her now. Uh, also, this is like such a nice plant to... <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> to just like, just pet <laughs> or stroke. Um, yeah, it just, there's, it's so soft. The leaves are so fuzzy definitely a favorite for sure i love her so much and i definitely took cuttings from her time and time again to get her as full as she is today her backside is bare like i mean she doesn't look too terribly bare up here at least to me she doesn't but i it kind of works out that way i don't want any vines back here because where she sits like she's kind of just hanging from right here so i feel like if she had vines like in the back side too it would be kind of hard to like place where she's at so to me i like how she's growing like i don't need her to have the back side filled too maybe one day if i had this plant like hanging um then yeah i would want it all filled out but for now I love her just like this. <laughs> the next plant is a plant I got at the Texas Aeroid Show. Um, I'll link that video again on either side. I don't know which side, but I'll <laughs> have it linked above. And I got this plant at the Texas Aeroid Show. This is my Hoya Globulosa. And oh my goodness she is a stunner i got her from unsolicited plant talks which is also where i got this shirt that i'm wearing today it's a stressed out and it's a stressed hoya sun stressed hoya and yeah i got this plant there and it is just so beautiful it's very fuzzy and like the veins the veins are our veins are just to die for and this is a plant that I have in the cocoa hus which actually that's just what April grows her Hoyas in and I've gotten a plant from April before so I feel comfortable with this mix you do have to kind of stay on top of it you definitely don't want to let it dry out bone dry but surprisingly, the cocoa husks or cocoa chips hold on to moisture pretty well. Um, but yeah. And the only tip that April gave me for this one was just to not give it too much highlight um, in order to keep the dark green. And I guess I've kind of given this one a little bit more light than maybe she was giving it before because these are a bit more brighter. Um, but that's okay. I love the way the veins like pop you know i love this hoya so much the next hoya is a hoya that just like my hoya sunrise blooms constantly i look at this hoya and it's blooming unfortunately for like it doesn't have any blooms that i can show you guys right now which is like so of course of all times you know but it does have active peduncles and it is my hoya lacunosa uh I got this plant as a, I believe it was a small cutting or like just a small established plant, but I got it from my friend Gemini Growing. Um, I'll have her tag here, check her out on Instagram and on YouTube. And yeah, she gave me this plant. As you can see, look, there's a peduncle here, there, and just like hopefully you can see them. like. I don't think I'll be able to like point out to each one in this video because we'd be sitting here forever but like hopefully you can just see them as I'm turning it but I mean <laughs> even though it is kind of annoying to clean up the blooms constantly I mean they always make me smile when I see them and they definitely have like that grandma perfume smell or at least to me um other than that, it's a very fast grower and I love it so much. I love it so, so much. 
this one is another one that I'm sure needs a repot it's in a small like two inch pot um yeah and she just dries out really fast I can't keep up with her but Hoya Lakinosa the next Hoya I feel like is very underrated and that is the Hoya Wibergii or Wibergii I'm not sure if I'm saying that right I'm sorry if I'm not but this is such a pretty Hoya and I don't see it like get talked about enough when it sun stresses it sun stresses like the splashes on its leaves pink and it looks so beautiful and then it has like these middle veins here that are just like you can still see within the splashing look at this leaf here it's freaking huge and super splashy I feel I don't know the science behind it or anything but I feel like more light does give Hoyas like splashier leaves sometimes that's not always the case and again I could be wrong it could just be like the species and like that's just the way that it grows but I feel like with this plant I've noticed like whenever it's sun stressing and I'm giving it a lot of light it usually gives me like really splashy leaves um, but yeah, such an underrated plant. I will say if you get this plant and you get it small, it does take a while to kind of kickstart and really start growing. So definitely expect it to be slow at first, but once it kicks, like once it starts growing, it really starts growing. It's given me so many brand new leaves this year and yeah. And I have it in this little, on this little trellis that I made and yeah <laughs> i love this hoya if you don't have this hoya get it it's really pretty at least in my opinion the next one is a small one and um a small leaf hoya and very fun and it is my hoya chinhungensis or chinhungensis however you want to say it i'll put the name on the screen um yeah <laughs> this one is definitely a favorite i just love the way that it grows i love how wild it is and <laughs> i love it so much and it's also another one that's kind of really fun to pet um also this one produces a lot of uh, peduncles and i have had it bloom for me once but that's been the only time just because this is small leaf hoyas are generally like thirstier so i've definitely underwatered this one a few times and so that's why i've only been able to get it to bloom once but yeah she does produce a lot of peduncles they just don't get to that blooming state and that is because of me but yeah these are the leaves super cute and yeah such a fun one too again my hoya chinhungensis the growing pattern reminds me of eucalyptus does it not let me know if you agree <laughs> my next hoya is my hoya compacta and this one is just the green one and yeah this one for sure is like a faster grower than my variegata but again like not the fastest out of my hoyas definitely still slow or like steady slow um but yeah she's a cutie uh fun fact i almost threw her out when i first got her because i know that hoya compactas are known to like just be like just be mealybug magnets and like that they just thrive in the crevices of the leaves and stuff and i've never had mealybugs knock on wood <laughs> but yeah they freaking terrify me whenever i see photos of them and i just that thought kind of just festered within me and i was about to throw it out the next day after i had just gotten it but my husband actually talked me out of it and he was just like no like just let it grow it doesn't even have any pests right now like you know like just you know let's see what'll hap what will happen and she's never gotten mealybugs so far 
and I'm so glad I didn't throw her out because I do love the growth pattern. I love it a lot. Um, reminds me of like my curly hair. <laughs> but I definitely want to add the variegata with this one and just have them combined in one pot. And I think that would look really pretty. But yeah, Hoya Compacta, also known as Hindu Rope. The next Hoya... <clears throat> sorry is a big leaf hoya and that is my hoya quinquinervia although i'm not sure this is a quinquinervia because whenever i see other people's quinquinervias they don't look the same and i've had a hoya friend tell me that it could be surajoensis or i'll put the name on the screen i don't know if i'm saying it right but let me know if you agree or if you think it's a quinquinervia. I got this in like a plant trade for, on Instagram and you know they said it was a quinquinervia and stuff but anyway there's no way of truly knowing until it blooms but besides the confusion and stuff I love this Hoya so much. This is my first ever like big leaf Hoya. Aside from my Globulosa, but those are like skinny and long. These are more like the size of my hand big. Like they are pretty big and just so thick. The leaves are so thick and just beautiful. Ugh. It's truly stunning. And yeah, they're just so smooth and shiny. And this is another Hoya that's very easy to grow. I wanna, I need to repot this one because I don't like the the bamboo stake that it's on. I want it on like a arched trellis. So maybe I'll do that in a video as well. But yeah, Hoya Quinquinarvia, she is such a beauty. So the next Hoya is one that I've had for a long time and that is my Hoya pubicalix or pubicalix, however you want to say it. <laughs> it is on this like circle wire trellis that you can probably barely even see. But yeah, <laughs> like I said, I've had her for a while and I've had her on this trellis for a while. I don't know if I'll have a picture of what she looked like when I first got her. But anyway, let me zoom y'all in for some of these super splashy leaves. It has some of the splashiest leaves. It's so pretty. You might see all the dust. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how embarrassing. Um, yeah, she's freaking dusty. But anyway, let's get back to <laughs> the pretty leaves. They're so splashy. Obviously I need to give her a freaking shower, y'all. I'm so sorry, but yeah. <laughs> Hoya pubicalix. I want this one to bloom for me as well. She hasn't yet, but she's like, she's loving life besides being dusty. She's still growing like crazy. <laughs> the next one is another Hoya that I have on a trellis, and that is my Hoya rotundiflora. And this is definitely a Hoya that grows pretty slow, not gonna lie. She's not the fastest in the bunch. I've had her since September 23rd, 2021. What is that, like almost two years? It's been a year and some months, but like I know, okay, it looks like she has a lot of growth, but trust me, she just started growing like after having her for a year. So this is definitely a Hoya that I feel like when you get her at first, do not expect much. Especially if you're starting from like a cutting or something. I feel like this is a Hoya that like needs to be established first. If that has not been the case for you, then that's freaking awesome. But it was the case for me and my friend. We got ours at the same time and from the same person. So I don't know. It, it could be genetics too. I feel like if you get cuttings from like a fast growing Hoya, then yours will probably be fast, right? <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, Hoya Rotundiflora. Some of these Hoyas are dusty y'all, but that's just real life, okay? Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> my next Hoya is my Hoya Chelsea. And I got this one from a friend and another one that's not quite the fastest grower but 
also like when she does give you leaves they're really dark and beautiful and almost have like these dents in them i love this plant like i said definitely not a fast one but still really pretty and i have cuttings of this plant that i want to add back into the pot um they're already well rooted and everything so i need to do that asap but yeah hoya chelsea she's a cutie another hoya with dents on the leaves and that is my hoya crinkle eight such a cutie another slow one for sure or at least in my experience i feel like this hoya definitely or it could just be like still acclimating and establishing my friend on instagram gave me this one and i love it it's super cute but it just hasn't really done much for me yet but maybe that'll change you know but i love the indentations like in the leaves they're so cute and the next hoya is my hoya obovada variegata I guess we're heading into the slow pokes because this is another Hoya that grows really, really slow. I've had this one for quite a while and it just, it, like this is all I have to show for it. Granted, I did cut it twice for trades. So maybe like because I had cut it twice, that kind of stunted growth when it was still kind of small. And the variegation is pretty. This is like my favorite leaf here. But yeah. And I have had this one bloom. But it gave me only one bloom. Um, and not a full like cluster. And that was fully because I had underwatered it. Um, but they're the same as the Obovada blooms. But yeah. She's cute or whatever. I'm definitely not like head over heels for her though the next hoya i don't think i'm gonna take down for you guys to see i think i only have two more to show y'all but the next one i have to show y'all is this one that's back here and it's my hoya waliniana let me go ahead and flip the camera so i can show you guys a better look but yeah this is my hoya waliniana ut152 and she is freaking long. I'm not going to show too much down there because I have all my pots and it's a mess. But <laughs> this one is such a fast grower. She has a peduncle here. Here is the peduncle. She has bloomed for me quite a few times. She is quite the easy bloomer. But yeah. I definitely want to take some cuttings and like fill up the top more because there's not really that much up here but other than that she's a cutie she's a queen the last Hoya I have is up there and it's just my Hoya Hushkaliana the green one um, it's not getting a lot of light up there so it grows really slow and yeah but I just wanted something really cute for that pot there and I just love that it's like a single strand. It just looks cute to me, okay? So I really don't mind it not being like a full plant or anything. It's doing its job <laughs> of just looking cute. As soon as I said that and sat down, I quickly realized that no, that is not the last Hoya in my collection. I actually forgot three. Um, but anyway... <laughs> The next one is my Hoya Caudata Sumatra, currently giving me a new leaf right there. This one here. Oh, I love the way the splashes look so minty and the leaves kind of look maroony when they're like fresh. But yeah, such a pretty Hoya. I love this one so much. Definitely doesn't grow fast for me. I've heard mixed opinion, not like opinion, but experiences on how theirs grow. But my experience has been like, they're pretty slow. But like I said, everyone's experience is different. I've heard some people say that theirs is actually really fast, but not mine. <laughs> this one has bloomed for me a few times though. Freaking stunning. If you want to see what those blooms look like, check out my Instagram to go look at some photos of Hoya blooms. I'm always posting, especially if it's a brand new bloom for me, I will definitely be posting it on my Instagram. But yeah, Hoya Caudata Sumatra. 
Next two Hoyas I got from a friend doing a plant trade. And to be honest, I can't really remember the names of these. I believe this was like Hoya Memora. I'm going to message her and ask her and then I'll put the name on the screen. But this is what it looks like. Or was it a Rebecca? Anyway, my SD card like rudely cut me off. But <laughs> I believe this is a Hoya Rebecca. But I will have to check in with my friend that gave it to me. And she also gave me this one. Which I believe is a Lacunosa splash. I honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I will have to ask her. But yeah, it has some really nice like silver leaves. And just like really pretty. I'm excited for this one to grow and hopefully like give me more of like these like splashy leaves which hopefully you guys can see very well but yeah and I do have one more Hoya um, and that is my Hoya Bella but she actually lives outside so I didn't want to bring her in right now in this moment that I'm fil filming but I will be adding some b-roll and hopefully I can include that clip now um but yeah she lives outside she loves it out there she is receiving like bright uh northeastern light but because it's like part of it's like east coming from the east too that sunlight will reflect off the cars in the parking lot and then like just the reflection of the bright light will hit my plants on the balcony where they're at and i truly believe like that's what's helping them grow really fast because if you think about it like northeastern light isn't really a lot but i'm telling you that reflection of the sun against the cars and reflect and going to my plants and stuff it just like truly helps them grow so fast i swear the plants that i have growing outside are like plants on steroids they honestly grow to be honest better than in here <laughs> and i feel like a huge factor in that is because of the warmth outside i live in southeast texas so it is really warm out here and my plants love it they love it so much especially out there i just have to make sure that i stay on top of watering but other than that they're like living their best life outside but anyway that concludes this video those are all the hoyas in my collection i originally wanted to like keep count and like count all of them but i have like such a bad memory <laughs> when it comes to doing something like that i was just like you know what it's fine but i think last time i counted i think i have like 30 like around 30 hoyas um but yeah i love hoyas so much especially this growing season they've really been like catching my eye and just like making me fall in love with them all over again and i definitely still have a few hoyas on my wish list that i cannot wait to get and yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys stick around and subscribe go ahead and comment down below which hoya was your favorite in this video or maybe which hoya in your collection if you have any that's your favorite and yeah if you have any other like growing tips to kind of share to not only me but others go ahead and comment those down below i would i love learning about like new things about plants and like how to care for them and stuff like that so yeah but anyway i'm gonna sign out now i'll see you guys in the next one bye